since I don't recall. Oh, it's right here. All right. Seems normal. All right, I guess we look at this. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glosser, Glasser, Kovsky, Koetzee, and I survived. Eau Claire is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Boatsy made a run for it to check the observa check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. There's a group of engineers from Theta telling us they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans from the people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from, except the one important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure out this Ark business. But they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron as to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. We'll finally be able to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation inside Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. I'm sure that played out well. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? 
Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Wonder how that went. Okay. Well, I need to use the restroom, so we are going to take a break a little early. And when we get back, we will uh, get on getting on. Probably not. Time being, let me turn up the uh, volume so I can at least hear something. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like there's been a... Uh... A lot of times where hearing is important in this game. Put that there. Okay. We have attached. Shit to break. We broke it. We did. We go. You excited? Start chewing on my collar. Wait. 
Shark's like, see ya, loser. No. Well, this seems like a problem. Got a sledgehammer or something? Maybe some rope? Aha! We're in. Does appear to be taking us the wrong way though. Hopefully this will turn around. Yep, we, we do be looping. Turn the volume down before I blow out my ears. Okay. ourselves by the thermal vents here. Just out here making breathing sounds for funsies. <laughs> Love to hang out where it all went wrong. Let me open this one too, please. Safety first. Whee! Okay. satisfied my curiosity. seven safety protocols everyone just tell me what you want I need you to stop the world. what look it's been running wow. for years there's so many expansions what are you talking about
They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountainhead of the misery we created. And the girl, she figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked. into a venomous snake. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the WoW? All together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Okie dokie. What the hell is that? It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Well, if I've learned anything from playing Scorn, it's always stick your hand into fleshy holes. Okay. Definitely know what's going on here. Was I not supposed to? Oh shit. Hold on. We'll save this discussion for another time. said no, go here. I have no idea where I'm going now. Okay. Oh, I did not uh, see the door. The game has so, so very infrequently given me meaningful choices that I assumed that is just how we'd progress the game. <laughs>
So am I dead or? <laughs> I think game broke is what happened here. Like, if there's a key I'm supposed to be smashing, I don't know what it is. Smashing the keys I am smashing. Not working. Saving and exiting does not seem like a smart idea. People take the last auto save, thank you. Okay. back. I know it's back there. Oh, am I supposed to hide? Is that what's happening here? I just want to talk to whoever thought this was a good idea. Where am I? Okay.
managed to design a section that was less scary and more annoying. 